Hello everyone. Long on the wall. You have long enough to get a PhD and should put their power levels as around one. Bono Lena. I like to throw poor. Yes. The ranking in awe. It is. I've got other real. You know, as it gets. Yes. Uh, Aaron. Base. Yeah, don't that make you good too. What's up, Tim? I'm going to show you the order. Oh, fuck. Base. Goaded. Hey everybody, it's me, Bushamo, also known as Busham Zero, Busham Bush. I don't know why any of you call me these other three names. It's literally just Bushamo. But anyway, we do not care. It's me, Bushamo, and if you could tell by the compilation eclipse that you just saw, I'm responsible for that. That was me. I made that. Well, I edited it because that's what this video is about. Look at the title. I, along with being a unhinged TikToker, down bad Twitter shit poster, guy with a YouTube channel who doesn't upload except for this video now. <laughs> That took a literal year. I am also a video editor. I have edited for several people over the years on YouTube with a catalog that you're seeing as it's scrolling down the screen for YouTubers that you may know and love, such as Goku's Biggest Dick Rider, Donkey But Black, number 25, Samurai Without a Master But He's Malfunctioning and He Loves Miwa Too Much, Unironic Not, Unironic Quincy Sympathizer, the number that comes before seven, the world's biggest classroom of the elite writer and much more i've edited for so long that i don't even know if i count as my own identity or that guy who inserts vtuber clips in someone else's video but i just want to let you know as i've been spending years probably around three at this point at vid editing videos for other people i can proudly say to all of you don't be a video editor D don't do it just 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 don't do it it's not a good idea. You 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 shouldn't uh, be a video editor. That's a bad idea. Don't ever do it. If you ever think about doing it, um, seek therapy. Um, just talk talk to your counselor. Jump off a cliff before the thoughts enter your head. I can safely say video editing is consumed part of my life. I don't know why I wanted to do this. I went to college for computer engineering. As you can probably tell, I dropped out of college. <laughs> but it drains my soul every day being a video editor. But I know all of you might be asking, uh, but what if I want to be a video editor? What if I I want to get some sweet sweet clout from these bigger youtubers i'm here to make this video to tell you how to be a video editor so that you don't want to do it and make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below so that i can be too busy editing my own video so i don't have to edit for these freaks anymore thanks so you might be asking how do i random internet user number five proceed to becoming a video editor for the likes of such mentally stable individuals online well i'm here to tell you the first step you got to do is promote yourself and you could do such avenues as promoting yourself on twitter so that no one can see you or making a reel on YouTube so that no one can see you or using the various sites of sites like uh, Fiverr or whatever to put your services out there so that no one can see you. Luckily for me, I'm friends with a guy with a lot of numbers by his name. So that means that I get clout. I get nepotism power. That's right, boys. That's literally the only reason you ever hear my name is because this guy promoted me and then this guy promoted me because I edited their videos for them. I, I love nepotism. But usually, yeah, the best avenue is to make um, put your services out there, maybe contact contact some other creators or show them what you can do. If you don't have a catalog, I, I don't know what to tell you. Shit out of luck. Skill issue, I think. But again, once you get in there, once you get in their DMs and stroke their c**ks a little bit, make them feel good about themselves so that they can be fooled into thinking their content's good, then you get to the process of making the videos. Now, I have experience in different types of content, usually revolving around anime, manga, uh, Star Wars for some reason, uh, li limited levels of video games. Basically, if you smell like cum and socks, you pro that's probably a type of content I make for you. And that usually ranges from content Comedy videos, stream highlights, podcast highlights, and analytical content. Uh, we should start with that one because there's a that's a big umbrella a big umbrella of disappointment because for some reason I get hired exclusively by power scalers have you guys ever watched death battle you know where people take that conversation you had on the playground like what if Superman fought a Goku but like you did it unironically and you pulled out like calculations and shit you know you know doing that instead of doing something productive with your life. I edit for people who do videos on like Jujutsu Kaisen, Dragon Ball, the Fate series, which you can imagine has lots and lots and lots of content that has to be shown, evidence has to be shown to prove the argument. So you would think that when you get hired as a video editor, they're gonna, your client's gonna have all that prepared for you. No, no they don't. 
I mean, they might, they might have like a list of things that they might have. And then like, you'll listen to their audio and they'll be like, oh, um, this happened in chapter 75 when um, Goku used the Kamehameha in this specific way. And you're, you're searching through that manga. You download that shit from Yaa.si and you scroll through, you scroll through and you don't see anything because guess what? It was in the bottom right corner of a page that no one except this insane person would ever notice. And that was a nice hour of my life spent. And then you got to do it all over again. This happens all the time. This happens to every client I have. Whether it be some offhanded mention of a character with blonde hair just did like fight like in some unknown media that no one except this guy knows. Or if it's like in JJK, if I have to if I have to see this same page of quote unquote the sun, if I have to make another Gojo video where I have to put this scan in a video again, it's literally it is like it is 300 by 300 pixels over and over again. I'm tired of it. I'll corporate bomb your house if I have to put this in a video again. And oh my god, oh my god, not even mentioning that one time I had to pretend to like Death Note for this one guy to make two Death Note videos for him so I could have to have the cursed knowledge that there is a book, a guide, called The Guide to Reading Death Note, where they say that Light Yagami's dad has the highest levels of justice in the Death Note verse. Oh my god, take a shower. And if it's a comedy video, that's even worse, because then you gotta listen to people try to be funny. Who would ever try to be funny in a YouTube video? That's, that's so cringe. If you ever do that, maybe Make sure you leave it in the comments right now and tell me how funny I am right now and how much you enjoy my jokes. Tell me, please boost my ego. I'm on the verge of suicide. Oh, this is real, this is real edgy. This is, the, this is what I'm putting out in the world. If I have to take another video by some guy who wants to be donkey again, why is it specifically guys who wanna be donkey? Like every time I gotta hear this guy make the same joke, you know, you know sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes, sometimes you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes, 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 you know, sometimes I wanna throw myself into the middle of oncoming traffic dog if i gotta hear you say that you know sometimes one more time uh, why do you keep on listing my video dog <laughs> And part of what makes comedy funny is is timing. And timing's hard to do when I gotta sit there with your audio and cut out all the pauses. That brings me to the next point. Audio editing. <laughs> I hate audio editing. Audio editing is the bane of my existence. Every day I sit there, I sit there in the uh, in the editing bay. I'm like, oh, let's listen to this guy's audio. Maybe it's cleaned up. And all I hear in the audio is just. <laughs> um. <clears throat> um. Drink some water, lay down, stop doing sprints before you record. Get your inhaler. <laughs> Suck in that shit. Please stop. Please. I don't want to hear it anymore. Please just edit your audio. I say this as I'm literally editing my own audio because I'm also bad at recording audio. No one's good at it. Sorry, my lips are a little dry. And speaking of things I got to hear, sometimes what makes it really hard for me to edit videos is that when I work with these people, I got to like pretend that I agree with the things they're saying, right? Stroke their egos a little bit, make them feel good about themselves. Cause like, there's a guy that I edit for named No Operator. And you know, I like the guy, he's cool. But sometimes the things that comes out of his mouth just, I just, I just wonder, like, who raised this man? Does this man really think my Yuri has the best Bankai in all of Bleach? Dog, that giant golden baby couldn't even beat Uryu in the beginning of the manga. That thing has a 0 to 3 win rate, dog. It lost to Uryu as a child, it lost to the pink man, and it lost to a literal hand. It's the king of Bankai, the king of lies, more like. This man literally gave me instructions in a video that said, insert Nazi or fascist theme here, and you know what? I gotta pretend that it's cool. I gotta pretend like I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah, go off, Noah. I'll, I'll put in your Nazi fascist scene in your video. <laughs> or like, then I gotta listen to some guy talk about Star Wars. What kind of loser likes Star Wars? Do you think I care about Obi-Wan Kenobi's fight against Darth Bubambalam on the sec second sector of quadrant three of Jumaluma Bam Bam, dude? I didn't even know. I had to Google half the stuff you were talking about, dog. I don't even know any of this these stuff Disney canon old canon throw myself into a canon but you might be asking yourself Busham zero what is stopping you from making your own content uh, uh, laziness self-doubt I think the fact that these people keep hiring me to make hiring me to edit their videos I think I think that's contributed to it 
Most of the first part. I think it's the first part. And God forbid I have to make fixes after the video's done. I got I send off the video thinking everything's fine, and they go, oops, sorry, um, you forgot this one thing that I forgot to mention that you needed that I didn't give you. Then I gotta put it in the video, and then I send it back, and they're like, oh, you know, the music choice could be better. Then I gotta put it in there, send it back, and then they go, oh, I don't think I like this part. And then I then I then I saw my own nuts off with a rusty chainsaw. Basically, the point I'm trying to get across with all this is that you don't want to be a video editor. It's soul crushing, it's lifeless, and it makes you want to die, and just, it's, it would be so horrible to try to be a video editor, which is why you should go on my Twitter DMs right now and try, if you need a video edited by me, YouTube user Bushemo or Twitter user Bushemo, you can hit me up on at Busham0 at twitter.com, go in my DMs and ask me for a video and I'll let you know if my commissions are open. My commissions are going to be closed for the majority of the month of January and parts of February, but if you need a video edited, just let me know. <laughs> Hey, what is up guys? Broken Ronin here with another Broken ass beating Ronin. for an ungrateful, backstabbing Pokemon fan who should be busy editing the video you I asked him to finish. You got time to be talking sh**. You got time to get more JJK vs. Battle videos Please, done. I just see this my time we're doing Dagon vs. Toddler Hakar. In all seriousness, I very much appreciate everyone who has ever commissioned me as a video editor because it's taught me so much about marketing myself, making connections, different editing styles and tones that have given me all kinds of ideas and helped give me inspiration for this video you're watching and more videos to come. There will be two more videos coming out soon, which will then transition to a weekly upload schedule and a lot of comedy centric videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to let me know what you think of this. And if you didn't like it, please leave comments below because that does nothing but gives me engagement and um, satisfaction knowing that your dumb ass sat through this entire video. Also, if you need an editor, once again, I'm Boosham0 on Twitter and my DMs are open. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.